Hey everybody, so on this job we were hired to do our epoxy flate garage floor coating. The garage is pretty good size, 60 by 26. It's actually a big boathouse way down on the ocean here in Maine. <laughs> but what I also wanted to show you was like how we do our prep for these floors and the tools we use. Today we're going to be using a variety of DeWalt tools and I want to show you just how these work, what we liked about them, and how they're making our jobs a lot easier. And one of the big reasons is because of the battery powered ones they have out now where the battery life is just so much longer than they used to be. The power is still there versus electric. So that's what I'm going to be talking about in this video, how we prep for these floors and the nice DeWalt tools we're using to get the job done. So this is our first job using the 7 inch and the 5 inch battery operated DeWalt grinders. Now what we was a little worried about was would they have the same power as the, the electric competitor brands that we've been using all these years. So what we found out was after, after trying them out for a little bit, they, the power was great. They, we didn't see any drop off in power versus the electric ones. And what was an added bonus being battery operated was you didn't need a dedicated 20 amp circuit to plug these things into. We had trouble with the electric ones constantly blowing breakers on us when we get in these residential garages. So without having to plug these in, we don't have to worry about finding a dedicated outlet to be able to grind and all of us work at the same time. And then the battery power, the battery life on these was really good. It was more, it was better than what we had expected. We expected to be, you know, these grinders, they take a lot of power and then we're pushing down on them. So there's, we're trying to get a lot of head pressure on them to get the concrete ground really good. And we just thought they would suck the batteries dry pretty fast. And they really didn't. The batteries lasted a long time. I don't know. I can't remember exactly. But at least I think we were using a 9 amp battery on the 7 inch. And like a 6 amp on the smaller 5 inch one right here in front of you. And 20, 30 minute battery time and was, was easily what we was getting. And then we had, you know, the other batteries plugged right into the fast chargers. So we always had fresh batteries to go with no downtime. And, you know, this just made the job so much easier to grind. We didn't have to work around a bunch of other cords. Um, we didn't have to keep stopping and resetting breakers. Now I'm showing you this because this is, you know, we, we, we use walk behind grinders too when we grind these bigger floors and this multiple different ones we use this was a gas powered one we're using we do have a a big 220 amp walk behind grinder we put diamonds on but the trouble with a lot of residential places is there isn't any 220 outlet so you got to either get into you know something electric or something gas or maybe something propane and this gas or what that we was using worked pretty good for this one but we still like to have you know everybody working at the same time if we can it just makes the job go faster so we'll usually have maybe one guy on the big walk behind grinder and then a couple guys on hand grinders so Darren's over there working on the, the edge in with the seven inch grinder with the pulsating the pulsating DeWalt vacuum there the 10 gallon vac which worked awesome on this I don't think we had to stop and clean the filters at all until we were done grinding and we used basically we had two of them so we used uh, one Darren was using one then I'd switch and then I'd use it and then another way we grind is we use our we got our, like a floor buffer that we put diamonds on the bottom of that too and then we add a little weight on it and that helps speed up the you know the grinding process on some of these bigger garages too so we can use both methods for that and that works really good now you're going to get to see at the end kind of what the epoxy flake coating looked like when we was all done and then I'll have another dedicated video on how we did that. But I just want to show you a couple other tools we use that we really like. This DeWalt electric grinder, this is something we've had for a long time. You buy it like this, it comes with the shroud and then you put DeWalt's diamond cup wheel on the bottom of it and that grinds concrete really, really well. It's, it's really aggressive for doing epoxy coatings. I mean. We also love this thing, but you can see I'm kind of having to work around the, the cord a little bit. I just, that's another thing I wanted to show you versus using the same grinder that's battery operated with the same cup wheel. You don't have to work worry about working around the, the cord at all. 
like you can see the batteries I got the battery chargers I got right behind me you know them uh, just sitting there those took about 9 amp 6 amp those took about you know 20 30 minutes to charge up and then another tool we really like to clean out joints and uh, grind our corners is the multi tool the DeWalt multi tool the 20 volt max this makes cleaning out saw joints like this really really fast so Darren's just buzzing down through the joint getting up anything that's been ground in there or sitting in there for however long and then I can come right behind him with the vacuum and clean them out really good and that's you know when you're doing epoxy coatings on a garage that's really really important you want clean really good looking joints you don't want to get any dust up into the coating when you're doing it and that literally just takes a couple minutes to go through all these joints get them all cleaned up really good and then what I'm gonna, what I'm gonna show you here soon is you know the, the, the flake coating now I have a I have a course that I can help teach you if you want to try to do this on your own or you could hire somebody like myself to do this um, but the method for doing this is always grind to prep first so having the right tools helps make that faster and easier and the DeWalt tools made this really easy I'll have a link for the tools down in the description below and then you know here we are this is this is going to be part of the video where I show you the main video you know which you you'll coming up after this one which I'll show you just how we do this stuff rolling on the base coat uh, applying the flakes putting the top coat there's there's definitely a method to do this to make sure it comes out right and comes out really good so let me know down in the comments if you got any questions and thanks for watching come on back we'll see you on the next one